What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. It is Wednesday my dudes, that's what someone always says and I think it's kind of funny to keep saying that. So it's Wednesday my dudes. In this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to add a face cam to your gameplay in Vegas Pro 15. So how this works is you need to have two separate recordings. One recording of your gameplay and the second one which is a recording of yourself. Just set the camera down on yourself and then record yourself. So you need two separate files. So one once you have collected those files, I would say, let's go to Vegas and I'll catch you guys right after the intro. Okay, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 15, like I've mentioned at the beginning of this video, we need two files, which is the gameplay and the face cam. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by putting in our gameplay video into our timeline. Okay, so this is the gameplay video. Let's play it back for a second. And the white square is basically where the face cam will be. And this is basically just a recording of my friend uh, that is also streaming on Twitch. Link is in the description if you want to check out his Fortnite streams on Twitch. Make sure to drop him a follow. I just took a footage of him, um, of his channel, so I can show you guys how it's done. Okay, so this is the gameplay. As you can see, very smooth. And the white square is basically uh, the face cam border, kind of, you know, where we're going to put in our face cam. So now that we're going to, we're going to also drag in the face cam file. Okay, so as you can see, this is basically me playing, uh, kind of playing the Fortnite game. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on video effects, brightness and contrast. And we're going to add in a little bit more contrast to it. I think, as you can see, that makes a huge difference. That looks awesome. We're going to also right click properties, uncheck maintain aspect ratio, and also disable the resample. Now, in order to add this face cam to your gameplay, what we're going to do is we're going to crop out a nice square. So we're going to go ahead and click on the event pan crop icon. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click on mask at the very bottom uh, right here. If it wants to load, there it is. We're going to click on mask. We're going to pick the rectangle tool, which is rectangle or square mask creation tool and we're gonna pick a nice square around us as you can see like that now that we've done that what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this out then we're gonna go to the track motion icon on the left of the face cam track then we're gonna resize this guy and we're gonna put it in the square right here now as you can see this it, it doesn't really fit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it a little bit bigger like that we're gonna also place it uh, down just a little like that then we're gonna go close this out we're gonna go back to the event pan crop and we're gonna just go ahead and stretch it until the face cam border looks very accurately around the face cam so I'm gonna start dragging this guy a little bit more to the right as you can see uh, like this boom and then also on the other side so as you can see if I do it like that this is basically how you add a face cam to your gameplay so if I play it back this is what it looks like. So guys, this is how you add your face cam to your gameplay. So that's how simple it is. So guys, that's how to do it. This is how you add a face cam to your gameplay videos. So now you can go ahead and start uploading those Fortnite videos if you're really into Fortnite or basically any game. Just record your gameplay with OBS or Shadowplay or a program that works great. Record your face cam separately, time it, Put it right there and then there you have your awesome gameplay. So that's it guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll get you guys in a brand new After Effects series starting tomorrow. I'm super excited on this. I've been waiting weeks for this to come out and it's finally here. So tomorrow at... 
What time is it? At 9 a.m. PST, the first episode will drop, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. As always, thank you for watching. If you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in a brand new video tomorrow.